everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to be doing a simple DIY flip. We are just going to be recovering some old pillows. For these, I'm just doing very simple covers. I ordered all of the fabric from Cottoneer because I really like their fabric and they have some different textures. And I'll show you what I got. Alright, let me show you the fabric that I got for these. So this is the Cant Chambray, so it has just a little more depth to the print. It's not just like solid, but it's just 100% cotton, so this is earth, so that's just a dark gray. And then we have, this is the khaki suit of the Manchester embroidered, so you know, it has this little detailing in it. We only get enough for the front for this one, so we're gonna do the back in this green. I can't remember the name of the color off the top of my head, but again, not just like a flat cotton. And so that's gonna be the back for this one and also its own pillow. And then the last one is gonna be this lighter off-white. This is top stitch woven and they call it white, but it definitely has a little off-white because it also has this darker detailing on it. So, we're going to do all of those together on a gray couch, and I think it'll look good. Here are the four pillows that we're going to redo. And all of these have removable covers, I believe. Either with, like, buttons, zippers on them. So, we're going to take all those coveralls off and just use the inserts to make the new ones. Now these are nice inserts. They have a lot of feathers, um, which can sometimes poke through the fabric, but hopefully we'll do our best so that won't happen. So I'm going to double check the measurements on the pillows and then I'm going to measure the fabric to cut it. There are a couple different ways that you could make a pillowcase. This first way that I ended up doing it is not my favorite actually, but this is a really simple way is just to put two squares together, sew around three edges, slide the pillow in, and then close up the last seam. That's how I ended up doing these first couple of pillows. Then for this other one, I ended up doing it in two pieces because of how my fabric was already cut. And that allowed for me to make a pillow that automatically is removable, a pillowcase that's automatically removable, and that was really awesome. So I think if I was to sew the other two again, I would sew them all that way. And you just have to do fold two pieces together on the back to do that. Otherwise, you just want to sew around three edges, potentially sew your corners on the fourth edge, but leave an opening so that you can put your insert in. This is the one that is removable. So on this one, you would sew the entire square because you have the middle part that opens up on its own. Now that I have all of the cases sewn, I'm going to go ahead flip them right side out, and then I'm going to stuff them. It's important that when you are sewing fabric together, if it has two sides, make sure that you're putting the right sides facing each other and that you're sewing on the bad side so that when you flip it inside out, it's right side out. And after I stuff these, like I said, then I'm gonna go back and close them up on the sewing machine. I considered doing removable cases on all of them with buttons and as I was trying this it seemed to be working okay but I also just felt like it wasn't looking very clean so I opted off of that and decided it would be better to sew them shut. And here are the finished cases you can see on some of them where I closed it up and it's okay to have that extra detailing on it. Overall I think they turned out really nice. We can see the before, they all just weren't really matching together, and now I feel like the four of these go well together, they bring some warmth in, and they could be mixed in with some other pillows that bring some more texture. All 
my friends we did it that is the end of this project and I'm really happy with how they turned out I think that it just brings everything together and they match really well together and is a good way to repurpose some pillows that were already here so I hope that you enjoyed and stay tuned for my next video I will talk to you soon mm -hmm.